Hi, this is amazing Kent. We discover I discovered a a, a very magical uh, moment. Right, you can see that we have apple, we have carrot, we have Juliet, and the moment I type in banana, look at that! Right, it's automatic sorting, and not only that, my drop down list actually follow that. You can see that. Now, um, maybe I should just uh, insert one more items here. Oh, hmm, let's see if I can just put uh, another. Um, um, there's a lot of this, right? So, uh, I think zoo is nothing, but if I just put there, uh, say, yeah, 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 maybe I just put there uh, uh, tomato. Right, tomato, right? Oh no, oh, let's just put that. Let me just put this, change it to tomato, right? And look at that, right? It just changed. And look at this. It changed as well, right? So it's very handy, isn't it? So, how do you do that? First, we will insert a code into the sheet, into this word sheet change um, event, right? And followed by we make use of the sort functions, and not only that, we also create this uh, drop down list, right? So let's begin, right? So uh, you convert this into a table and give that a name called fruit table, and then we're gonna type this in, right? The fruit table items and um, we create the dot sort figure, right? And make sure you put it on the full sheet change. Okay, that's one. Now, once you've done this, this is going to be automatic. Now, we're going to head to how to create this drop down list. First, you go to formulas, you go to define names, and give them a name. Well, uh, we can call it the food uh, items two, right? Um, and here, I will change it to fruit table because this Excel table is named as fruit table and I want something from the column item. Click OK. OK, so now I've done with the uh, name range and now I have to data tab, choose data validations and you choose list and over here Press the function key F3 and select this fruit range fruit items and click OK. And that's it. We have that list. See, I suppose that you change it to uh, something like potato, right? Now look at that. And now we look at that. This is arranged according to the latest order. Cool, isn't it? Well, thank you very much, right, for learning these uh, cool tips. It's a powerful, just a little code makes the magic. How amazing is that, right? One line, two line, two line. So that is the power of Excel VBA. Just the iceberg of it, right? The tip of the iceberg. Hey, thank you. You just learned how to write some, copy some code, right? You really just just really just copy this right to the worksheet change right here and then the, the rest are the same and then you go to formulas or create a name range and the third step is to go to data validations choose the list and that's all and you can create something that wow your uh, audience thank you Re remember you are amazing, believe you are amazing, and you can create amazing things because of the fact that you can learn, you can discover amazing things. Plenty for you to learn and to feel amazing. Thank you. I wish you well.